There's so much to love about Maine. The people, the places, the food. And we're here to share it all with you. Each week, our team brings you the very best of vacation land. This is Maine Life. Oh, lover, I'll see you there. Waiting in the willows with your autumn hair. Oh, lover, I'll see you there. After many miles. I appreciate you coming to Central Maine. Every There's a time. lot of great stuff here. I know, every time. Your vacation can start here. You can begin to see the state through the eyes of Maine art. When I see people connect with the art, it just brings happiness to them and, I, and it makes me feel good. For me, theater is, is a life changer. So I go, the more spaces, the better for the community, I think. We wanted the feeling like you were at your grandmother's house or the grandmother you wanted. <laughs> Maine continues to surprise and inspire me. After living and working in this beautiful state my entire life, I continue to discover new places and meet a lot of hardworking and interesting people. Just one of the reasons I love supporting Maine Life. Each week, it takes us all somewhere new and exciting. Hi, I'm Andrew Silsby, President and CEO of Kennebec Savings Bank. Come into any of our locations and experience the difference. But until then, we hope you enjoy this episode of Maine Life. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Central Maine. On this episode, our travels will take us to Gardner, Augusta, and Reedfield, where we will find incredible stories of perseverance. You'll find these places and people all within a 20 minute drive from each other. First, I begin my day here in Gardner's historic downtown, right along Water Street, where I'm gonna grab a hot cup of coffee, some breakfast, and meet my co-host for the day, Mr. Andrew Silsby, at a place I've been waiting to try out. Here at Goldfinch Creamery, we wanted the feeling like you were at your grandmother's house or the grandmother you wanted. <laughs> this side is like the house and then the other room is like the garden. And in the garden room, we do tea parties. And here we have lunch, dinner, breakfast and treats. My favorite thing to do is the cakes, cakes and cupcakes, because you get to decorate them and make them look pretty so that I have the most fun with that. In my previous job, I was very much away from home and gone for hours and miles, thousands of miles a week. Now at least I work the same hours, but I get to spend it with my family. So I get to work side by side with my husband every day and that's a wonderful thing. Gardner has welcomed us from day one and has been very, very supportive. And us here at Goldfinch in turn, have become a huge part of the community. We donate to just about anything they ask us to. We participate in everything that the town is doing and we want to be a part of the community. We really like that feeling. So it's a lot of fun. All right. Thank you, Hope. Thank you. Beautiful China too. Thank you. I we believe it. any meal can be special. Any meal can be special. Love Cheers it. to that. Well, I'm going to continue eating, my friend, and you tell all of us about Gardner. Well, I'd love to tell you about Gardner, Maine. A beautiful city sitting on the banks of the Kennebec River, and we have been here before, mm -hmm. probably five or six years ago, yeah. I think, and we toured Johnson Hall, and uh, there was a lot of community spirit trying to bring this old opera house back to life, and I am really excited to take you there. It is done, and it is oh, unbelievable. I'm so, so excited. We've got to go check it out. And so Water Street here is just lined with so many shops and art galleries as well. I mean, it truly is a hub and a destination for the arts community. Big time. A lot of different communities on the river have tried to have a renaissance and uh, Gardner is really working hard on the arts. Johnson Hall will clearly help. We've got a great gallery here mm -hmm. that we need to take you to and check that out. So lots of fun in store. What a great day. Yeah, make this a destination and they have a delicious food. Thank you, Hope. It's yes, so yummy. It's great. A little more coffee and then we'll head out. All right. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Welcome back. Nice to How see you. How are you? Good to see you. It's been a long time. I know. It's been a few years. How are nice you? See I've you. seen you recently. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I am excited. This is our, our, our new lobby space. Uh, you kind of saw a little bit of the first floor, and then uh, we have a brand new 400 seat theater upstairs. So Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go see Let's it. go. Let's go see it. <laughs> I'm like trying to close my eyes. Am I here? <laughs> You're here. 
Ta-da! <laughs> we have stuff in the way, but it's cool that you can kind of see. We are now a 400-seat opera house theater. We have 277 seats on the floor, and the rest are up in the balcony. And you are getting ready for showtime. We are. They're hanging lights today, which is super exciting. We are in what we see as the last three to four weeks of the finalization of the construction project. All the tech is being put in and we are moving things back into our box office. We're actually selling tickets to shows. We are just elated. For me, it's been 10 years, but there's so many people involved in the project. It's been over 35 years waiting for this project to happen, so it's phenomenal. Congratulations. It's... How do you feel? <laughs> You're still here after. I know. I had brown, I had brown hair when I started the job. That's all I can tell you. But yeah, no, it's it's been incredible to be up in the space now and go, my God, it's here. <laughs> I know. The building started off as a livery stable that went with the hotel that was next door. And then they did a conversion, turned the first floor into retail. And then this floor became just a hall. It was just a floor. They had roller skating, they had New Year's balls, they had graduations. And then they started slowly adding vaudeville and burlesque. Um, and then after uh, the debut of Satan's Daughters Dance Company, uh, the town was very upset about it, and they decided to class up the joint and convert it to an opera house. And then it eventually converted to a movie theater in the 20s, and then it closed in 1959. And so it, from 1959 to 2024, this has been a, 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 an open space. Nothing's been happening. People used to come from Boston on the train to see shows here. Frederick Douglass spoke here. It was this booming space because of Johnson Hall. And so when that went away, it was just retail space on the first floor for years. Then this group came in in the 80s and s formed the nonprofit Johnson Hall Inc. that we are now and started this dream. And then uh, it just took a little longer than they thought. <laughs> So there's only a handful of things left in this building that were original to the space, and we've tried to uh, maximize that. For one is this gold proscenium edge that was removed and completely restored and then put back and then painted, and they just did a phenomenal job. Most of what we'll present up here will be music, but there will be some theatrical circus shows that we do that can do their show in small spaces. We have big comedians. Um, we'll have some theatrical productions, but primarily it's gonna be a music house and it'll be one of the best sounding rooms in the state. As a kid, I grew up in Buckfield, Maine, and at 14 happened to take a drama class with Denise Reel, along with Patrick Dempsey. This is true, we both studied with her. And for both of us, we talked about this, it changed the whole direction of our life. We were the troubled kids, and she was even warned not to accept us because we would be trouble. But it actually transformed our whole life, and art and theater and performance became the path that I've been on ever since 1982. So for me, theater is, is a life changer. Any city, community that has no art, people are always going somewhere else to look for it. So I go, the more spaces, the better for the community, I think. This project, you know, it has taken so many different groups of people. The first people in was Kennebec Savings Bank, and they were the ones that helped us launch the capital campaign because they were the first one to give us a large donation. And once people saw the first one in, then they went, oh, this is happening. And that was the major thing. So for us, uh, from the bottom of our heart, we say thank you to all the people that made this happen. Truly, congratulations. It looks like a completely different space, but still has that original yeah. you know, character and feel and mission, yeah. right? For yeah. Gardner um, and, totally. and the community. So lots of high fives in high the fives. show today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I can't wait to come back for a real live show. I can't wait to have you back. It's gonna be amazing. At Verlin City, we give drivers a worry-free guarantee on service. That means no surprises when your vehicle needs maintenance. And with our complete vehicle care, every tire purchased is expertly installed by our ASE certified technicians and includes free tire rotations for the life of the tire. And with two years of complimentary road hazard coverage, you'll have peace of mind for miles down the road. That's our worry-free guarantee. Verlin City.
Welcome back, everybody. We are so excited to catch a show here at Johnson Hall, and we encourage you to come early and experience all that Gardner has to offer. This downtown is so charming. Whether you're coming early to enjoy some of the local shops and boutiques, grabbing a bite at the Blind Pink Tavern, or exploring some of the art studios, we're going to take you now to a gallery and meet artist Alan Claude to say hello to him. He is fantastic. So talented. Let's do it. And welcome to the gallery. Nice, nice to, meet to, meet you. to meet you. Andrew, you? good to see you. It's beautiful in here. How is Johnson Hall? Oh, spectacular. Isn't that beautiful? Unbelievable. And this is so beautiful. Thank you so much. So this is your home. Yes, this is where it all happens. Gardner is very charming because it's like a little city neighborhood. It's got everything you need. Brew pub, you got restaurants, you got coffee shops, you got a theater, Johnson Hall, and I love the brick buildings. Always wanted to have a permanent place for my art. And this is my gallery. I'm always attracted to color and dimension and light, but also it's about drawing a feeling. When I see people connect with the art, it just brings happiness to them and, uh, and it makes me feel good. When I was a little kid in France, uh, I lived in France, my mom was French and we were dirt poor, but I would do drawings for her and make her happy. And so that's why it's an imprint in my own self that. I want to draw to make people happy. So basically creating art for me is, is my magic power. <laughs> these tea towels are very popular. We just got them in this year. Uh, coasters, these are really nice um, gifts. They, they're small, but meaningful. You know, people yeah. like small little things to take. The calendar yeah. drives uh, a lot of my art. Every year I come up with 12 images and it's nice to see the year in color. You know, it's not just about appointments and things to do, but it's more about feeling, you know. I love abstract art. I love just energy and color. And, and I think about the problem when you want to have something on your wall, it's a difficult decision to figure out what you want to say, but you want to say something that's positive. You want to feel good because you're going to see that every day. And in life, in the news, there's always some chaos and controversy. It's, you just want to feel good in your own home and or, or office. And that's what I try to do is just create good feelings about summer or just the main experience. When I first started, I said, do I want to go traditional with oils or do I try to do something that's digital? But I didn't want to make it look computerized. Uh -huh. I wanted it to look natural and organic. So I draw with my hands, freehand, so it's loose, it's imperfect. And the imperfection makes it more appealing, you know, so. I want those dinghies, like oh, those yeah. colors. I mean, why can't we have that in Casco Bay? For has, real. <laughs> see, it's kind of nurturing. There's a child there and, a, you know, there's a love connection there. See, it feels good. So that's the that. idea. And I, it's, now this is my son flying a kite Portland headlight. It's just Aww. the idea of like the joy of a child, you know, the excitement of flying a kite when you're a kid, you know. Can I have your positivity and color in my life every <laughs> single day? Can you just, just get a calendar. a calendar. Just buy a calendar. <laughs> Good sale. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Well, I hope you come down to Gardner. It's a great little staycation. The gallery's open here. Check online for the hours in the winter time. But I hope to see you here in Gardner, Maine. Bye. For over 153 years, Kennebec Savings Bank has been a community bank for everyone. Whether it's providing convenient account access, a quick and easy loan process, or supporting the community, our goal is to create lasting relationships rooted in trust and respect. It's always been about integrity and doing what's right for our customers and our communities. I'm Craig Garofalo, and I invite you to stop by a Kennebec Savings Bank location and experience the difference. There are things we feel around us. Chris Bear. Warmth. And then, there are things we feel within us. Exhilaration. Freedom. Comfort. Belonging. Plan your trip at visitmaine.com. Every time you shop at Hannaford, you do more than just buy groceries. You support our mission to keep 65 million pounds of food waste each year out of landfills and put it to much greater use. The good food goes to community pantries and food banks. What isn't used there goes to feed these guys. The rest is made into renewable clean energy. All of it helps reduce harmful greenhouse gases and helps sustain our planet for future generations. 
Hannaford Supermarkets. Greater than groceries. At Poland Spring, we've called Maine home since 1845 and are proud to be part of the community. Over the past two decades, investing more than $12 million in the place that we call home. Poland Spring, 100% natural spring water. At Honda, hybrid is more than fuel efficiency. It means sporty and fun to drive and making car and drivers 10 best list for the 37th time. The Accord Hybrid. The thriving arts community doesn't stop in Gardner. A short distance away, you'll find a wonderful staycation spot and an unexpected home for local art. Welcome everybody, I'm Alec Rogers. I'm the owner and general manager of the newly reimagined Maine Evergreen Hotel, Gallery of Maine Art, and Hearthside Vine and Tap. It's a new boutique hotel concept in Maine's capital, featuring art from all over the state. We have 125 pieces featuring over 50 Maine artists. Our Hearthside Vine and Tap features all Maine craft brews. It's all about what's local. Everywhere you walk throughout the whole hotel is the gallery. It is open to the public as well. You can come in just for a tour. Each piece of art has a caption next to it with QR code. You can take your smartphone out and scan it and it'll take you right to that artist page on our website and you can learn all about the artist and see links to their other work in the gallery as well. So you get off on the Katahdin level third floor and it opens to Chimney Pond and Katahdin's Knife Edge and the gallery space continues on down the hall towards the Grand Evergreen Suite. This is our largest suite and the largest suite in Maine's capital. The Grand Evergreen Suite is oh, wow. uh, 743 square feet with a separate bedroom. The bathroom is fitted with a jetted tub for one person soaking tub. Uh, it's made for luxury. All of our rooms are health conscious evergreen rooms too. They feature bottled quality drinking water on tap at the sink, a soft water adjustable shower massage, and premium air purification systems. We're incredibly excited to be where we are when we are. People are hearing about us left and right and coming in just to see what this buzz is all about. And they are so excited to see something different. You know, from a hospitality and hotel perspective, Augusta has been known as sort of a stopover community for tourism heading up to Acadia or maybe snowbirds flying north and south. But the whole concept here is that your vacation can start here in Augusta and you can begin to see the state through the eyes of main art. I have quite a few pieces here. I paint a lot of birds, a lot of owls, a lot of herons, a lot of animals. I just loved the idea of what they were doing here. And I just thought it was a very creative way to try to exhibit art and a wonderful opportunity for artists. I came in and I was really impressed space is beautiful. There's a huge variety of pieces here too. There's landscapes, there's animals, there's still lives, there's different kinds of media here. It's just great. So it's a really good representation of main art. So this is the bar at the Hearthside Vine and Tap where we Let's have uh, local craft beer and ciders, fine wines, and some tasty nosh. Uh, Nicole's just prepared a charcuterie Thank board Thank you, Nicole. For us. That's beautiful. Ooh, yeah. Yum. And it's pretty unique, right, in Augusta to have a bar at, at the hotel? It is, actually, yeah. We're quite unique in that regard. And it's open to the public, too. It's not just for yeah. hotel guests. Uh, so folks from the local area are welcome to come in in the evening and enjoy some nice, warm, cozy atmosphere and a nice drink and some friends. It is really cozy. To me, it's a place that happy meeting between uh, sitting home on a Friday or Saturday night or going out to a crowded bar or restaurant. It's a place you can come and just kind of fill your chill, you know, and just And there's hang such out. lovely hosts. Like, everything in here has been chosen carefully for your enjoyment and your comfort. And it just, you come in here, you just feel relaxed. It just adds so much to the community. Well, thank you so much for hosting us. It was so nice to meet the artists and friends, and I can't wait to come back. Well, thank you so much for being here. It's been wonderful having you here at the Hearthside Vine and Tap the Gallery of Maine Art, and the Maine Evergreen Hotel. Here's to you. Cheers. Cheers.
Just outside of Augusta in the town of Reedfield on the shores of Marina Cook Lake sits the Weathervane Restaurant and Lounge, where in the wintertime, depending on where you're coming from, you can arrive by snowmobile. <laughs> the Weather Vane was established in the 1950s, originally as an ice cream store, and my dad's family would come here and vacation on Moranacook Lake when it was an ice cream store. In the 70s, it became a full-service restaurant, and my parents were in a band, and their band would play here at the Weather Vane. And the opportunity came for them to purchase this place in 2001. They jumped on it and ran the place for 20 years, and then John and I decided that we would take over when they were ready to retire a couple of years ago. June and I are both from the Reedfield area. We grew up here. My family's been here since the 60s. First job I ever had as a freshman in high school in 1985 was a dishwasher right here at the Weathervane restaurant. So it's nice to have the, the roots come right back around. It's very special to my family because this is my family. This is my home. This is where I grew up and I've worked here. My first job, I still work here even though I have a family and another job. Um, I can't get enough of it. What's your favorite food here? Um, chicken nugget tender. And what's your favorite dessert? Ice cream! Yeah. <laughs> we have a wonderful community network and connections with everybody because we've been here for so long. We give to charities, we give to the local high school here, the local snowmobile clubs. Um, we do anything we can to support the community. I feel more that this is a, a connection to the community than it is just a, a business for us to run. And for me, it's like a legacy thing. I like keeping my parents, you know, all their hard work alive and, and thriving. Hi everyone, I'm Trudy, and tonight I'm gonna make for you the mango jalapeno margarita, the lemon huckleberry martini, and the ginger. In the ginger, we have Hendrix gin over muddled orange and grapefruit topped with Maine ginger beer. In the lemon huckleberry martini, it is made with huckleberry vodka, triple sec, lemon juice, and huckleberries. And in the mango margarita jalapeno, I have mango jalapeno tequila, triple sec, margarita mix, and lime. So we have a few different things tonight. Our house salad with a couple of choices of dressing. This house dressing is our signature creamy cottage cheese chive and garlic. It's been around for years. We have a baked stuffed haddock with a buttery Ritz cracker topping served with butternut squash as our vegetable tonight and rice pilaf. Mm. Andy's having the steak au poivre with- Andy's sharing. No. Sharing the no, 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 steak no, no, no. au poivre. <laughs> it's a New York strip steak covered in a black cracked pepper brandy cream sauce with mushrooms. And then over here we have our caprice chicken with spaghetti and a pasta primavera with shrimp and spaghetti over here. Thank you, friend. Thank you. Nice yeah. to see you. And I'm so excited to dig in. Thanks for introducing me to these spots. This, this was a fun day. It was uh, great, and I appreciate you coming to Central Maine. Every There's a time. lot of great stuff here. I know, every time. And we got on the ice. We did the it. Snowmobile. We did yes. it. Yes. We did it. You couldn't keep up. Oh, you didn't just say it. I, I was a little rusty. <laughs> you showing off in your neck of the woods. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Main Life. To follow all of our amazing adventures, you can check out our Instagram, Main Life TV, or at Arno Valley, our Facebook page, Main Life Media. You can get all of our shows for free on YouTube and the New Center Main app. And become a Main Life member. Sign up by going to our website, mainlifemedia.com, for exclusive content, some great deals, and so much more. Happy adventuring, everybody. We'll see you next week. Welcome back, everybody, to, nope. Welcome to the gallery and uh, see you. Aaron, I was like, and Aaron, Andrew, come on in. And how was Johnson Hall? <laughs> oh, to, to the people. To the people. To the people. Uh, shoot. Sorry, I'm sorry. So you. Uh, all right. One more time. Be the best one. <laughs> Augusta. Uh. We have several different. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs>